Howdy, Paws and Patty here, and today I'm working in my little golden book, The Wonders of Nature. Come on along. Well, I'm not going to sit out here on this stone wall very long because this is where the snakes live. But I'm going to go inside now and do a few journal pages about flowers. Well, I finished my garden journal and I've got a lot of pages in there about what was going on in my garden. And I decided that I would put the rest of my gardening and my nature journaling all together, Cosmic Smash them into my nature book. So I'm gonna keep this close by to see what I haven't journaled yet. But I'm going to be putting everything into here. So I'm going to have nature and garden. Just like a mix of both. I see a lot of nature when I do go out to garden. And first, before I even get started with what I'm working on today, I have a nature alert. Just a few days ago, the monarch butterfly, the beautiful, large, orange butterfly with the black markings, has been put on the endangered list by the international, what's it called? The International Union for Conservation of Nature or the IUN, IUCN, sorry. International Union for Conservation of Nature, the IUCN, has put the monarch on the endangered list because of the decline in population. Now this is a butterfly that travels a long distance. It migrates to the south. The next generation migrates down to Mexico. They spend the winter in Mexico. The generation starts its way back. Then it starts another generation and they come back to the north. So it's a multi-generation migration. But along the way they have lost habitat and food source and host plants. And I believe the, they said that the use of insecticide has also affected their numbers. So I went out to film the intro to this video this morning. And on the way back in, while I was sitting out by the Black Eyed Susans, and out of the corner of my eye, I noticed an orange butterfly. And I thought it was the literary that had come by the other day, which is a big, beautiful orange butterfly that I need to journal about. So I didn't pay too much attention to it till I walked past the zinnias and noticed that it was a monarch. So I have to journal about all that in here somewhere. So this is the monarch I have on my magnet page there. So I'm just looking to see how much I have. Okay, the center of this, the center two signatures are just a story because I kept the story intact. The whole little golden book, Wonders of Nature story there because I thought it was so sweet. And so I am still working in the first signature. And then I have almost, I think, every page, maybe except for one right there in the second signature and one over there. Oh, I started at the back in July. Um, so, so I have a lot of pages, but I have a lot of journaling to do. The cat just jumped up. Maybe I should do a page right away about the monarchs back here. And I think maybe I will do that because that is on my mind. But I did print out some pictures and I've got some Edith Holden pages out because I want to journal about all those things right there. So let me just show you what I've been working on this morning. The cat wants me to take her outside and I told Mr. Possum he had to take her outside right now but he's not going out yet so she's going to be real pesty. 
Anyway, so the first image that I want to put in here, and I'm going back to the beginning, where is a pocket right here with some dried Veronica and leaves and little flowers, pieces of pink thread, gold glitter. This is faux handmade paper I did quite a while ago. I can link that below. I made a pocket out of it. So, I'm doing some of the floral calendar this year and equating when things bloom. What do you think about that time of year? So when um, the dogwood blossoms bloom, it's Mother's Day. Same thing with the lilacs. The lilacs bloom around Mother's Day too. So I put floral calendar when the dogwood blooms, it's Mother's Day. This is a really pretty pink dogwood that I saw in a parking lot somewhere. And I just took a video of it. And there was a little breeze blowing and the blossoms were so bright pink. It was just so pretty. So I wanted to make a card. So this is junk. So you can't have a junk journal unless you put some junk in there. So this is a Happy Mother's Day postcard from one of our local nurseries. And I thought it was really pretty. It just says Happy Mother's Day. Of course, this side of the card was all advertisement. So I covered that with some scrapbook paper. And then I put the picture on this pink polka dotted paper. And then I put it on a little bit of plain green so that I could journal. Now I did something weird and I did this on purpose. The whole thing is shifted this way a little bit because I wanted to see the little bee there. I didn't want to cover him up. And the picture shifted this way because I wanted to journal on the side. Now if I can move the cat. I did this funny little ribbon doodle around the edge. I don't know why. I was just doing this early this morning while Mr. Possum was sleeping. And I had the pen in my hand while I was journaling. And once there's a pen in my hand, I tend to doodle. So I doodle this ribbon around the edge. And now I'm putting a little um, pull on here. So it's going to go in the pocket this way because it's a sideways pocket. And I hope this stayed. I think I glued it down pretty good. So I took this bit of burlap trim. This is Floral Garden, which is a Dollar Tree brand. So this is not in the crafty section. This is over by the plastic flowers. And I wove some of this very thin pink ribbon in and out of the slots in the design. Just for something a little different. And I use this pretty baby pink ribbon. And I was thinking about putting these baby pink hearts on there. And these are also Dollar Tree, but these are from the crafting section, Crafter Square. And I have red ones and I have baby pink. And I think I'm going to go with the baby pink because the ribbon is baby pink. If I can get these out, I'm going to add a little bit of extra glue. Stick them on there. And I think I will put it right here at the end on both sides. That'll also help hold that ribbon down, I hope. I'll put Kitty on the floor. She's sitting on my paper that I throw down there. Just one on each side. And I am going to let that dry. before I stick it in the pocket. Kind of a simple journaling card. So I don't make my, well, all of my pockets and tucks and things ahead of time. But this one was made ahead of time. 
and I kept journaling because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to put in that pocket. But now I have something and that'll go right in there and I think that'll look nice. Go back to that at the end. So I've got journaling in here, but I'm going to hop back. I'm going to save this, some of these pages here for May, June. Oh my gosh, today is the 1st of August. And I already journaled July here, so it doesn't matter. It's not always exactly in order. So how do I want to do this? I want to do the monarch butterflies. Um, I'm going to go see if I have a picture of one or something to use for the background. Okay, before I forget, my little tag is dry. And this was my idea for today. Put this little handle on there with the burlap and the ribbon and the two little hearts. That's my dogwood for Mother's Day. Going into my little faux handmade paper pocket. I like the color of the burlap with this and it works fine. But what was going to be just journaling like I just showed you, those that are already printed out and ready to go has now turned into a butterfly alert for the monarch. So I have these images of zinnias from this magazine that one of my sisters gave me. And because the butterflies love the zinnias and that's where I showed um, you know, the picture of the monarch on the zinnias, I want to put those on the pages. And I do have a picture that I just printed out of the milkweed, which goes that way. And let me turn my printer off. I have a picture of, turn that off, it's on my phone, the butterfly that I just printed out. On the zinnia, sorry, everything's falling off the desk because there's too much stuff here. So there is the butterfly, the monarch, and so now I have these to arrange and I printed out a little bit of the information I thought I would put on here too. These are just paper. But I thought they would go good with this orange, or this orange. This is that lovely paper that Heather gave me. But now do I need an extra page for the information about the butterfly? I could always do that here. This is my paper pad I spent 50 cents on at the flea market the other day. If I put it on this page, I might want to pick something with a little bit of yellow in it. This one's really pretty. Maybe that one. Ooh. Ooh. I like this one because these look like zinnias this one. So I think this is going to turn out to be three pages. And I'll get stuff everywhere. So first, see how pretty that is? I'm just going to cover this back of this cardstock with this paper. And this is just thin paper. And I'm going to put this information on here. And I'm going to cut this out, maybe edge this with orange, and put a little butterfly sticker in the corner. And then I'm going to do these two pages with zinnias and the butterfly. 
on the zinnias and because I love their zinnias the milkweed plant maybe these are not all gonna fit maybe not that one maybe these two and let's see do I want to cover this maybe I just put a background on some of these images got this nice dark orange pattern that goes with that over there so I just might do something like that this one is fine and that one gets to stay but this might get something in the background too just a little border something like that and then this will get a little border everything gets a little border all right papers are too big I need to cut everything down to size so I can fit it here on my desk space okay how to make a plain boring journal card with important information about the monarch butterfly being endangered a little bit interesting and fun so that people will interact with it when they look at the journal so I trimmed the journal card down because this is just a printout of some information from the IUCN and I did distress with some spiced marmalade and I glued it on top of this paper which has the same flowers as this but in a different orange pattern and I was going to plop that down there I'm thinking what else can I put on this page well maybe some sparkly orange ribbon to honor the color of the monarch and then I'm thinking well they're orange and black and what don't I usually use well lace who uses lace in their nature journal so isn't that pretty the sparkly ribbon with the black lace and look the sparkly back there can you hear Mr. Possum sneezing okay and then I said I wanted to put like a little butterfly sticker or something there and I have these giant monarch butterflies these are some of the uh, die cuts from the Dollar Tree and I'm thinking well we can make it interactive put a little brad up there in the corner and just put the butterfly like right across the article like that will he fit in there probably will maybe not let's see I'm pretty close let's see so we can swing down this way you can only go that far if we close the book will we does stick out a little bit hmm well I could let's see if I put them up higher hmm how am I going to get him on this page? Okay, paper engineering. Paper engineering might not be too bad. Well, I'll try and see how it looks. I have to figure out the higher up I put it, the further in it can go. it over here the more towards the middle I put it the further in it can go yeah that's it so if I put it in the middle it can still swing out so people can read the card and I even took out some orange buttons I went through my button jar but I don't think I need buttons if I put the lace 
All right, so I'm just going to go glue all this down because it's getting very complicated. I'll be right back. Well, I tell you, I've just been too, too distracted today. When I went out to take the picture of the milkweed, I got distracted by the hummingbirds. I have a family of hummingbirds. Um, the mom and the papa have been here, you know, since the spring. And the other day I noticed, um, about a day or two ago, I noticed the uh, baby had fledged. And today, all three of them, Mama, Papa, and Baby, were all around uh, the little sugar water feeder that I have out on the side yard. All right, so back to my page. Now, this is done. I've got my lace glued down. Feels still a little bit wet. Got my butterfly on. I used an orange flower brad. You can see on that side. So the butterfly flies up and you can read the story. It flies back down. And in honor of the orange and black, I've got the sparkly orange ribbon and the black lace on the edge of the page because nobody puts black lace in their nature journal. So I'll probably just get this page done and finish this page tomorrow and start all this journaling that I had prepared to do today, but got distracted when I went out to do my intro by the monarch butterfly in the zinnias. So I took the magazine picture, one of them, and I cut it to the shape because this side has a sort of a weird shape and stuck it in the corner on top of this background paper. As you can see, I changed the buttons out. I got some smaller ones and put some uh, black floss bows on them. And I cut circles. So I'm going to see the straight edge there. I want to hide that straight edge with one circle. And this is uh, some of the, like the paper I used on the other page. And then I used the zigzag paper to do a round journaling card, right? With zigzag lines, why not? Grow milkweed to help the monarch butterflies. It is where they lay their eggs and it is food for the babies. To help the monarchs, I'm trying to start a milkweed patch. Now, all I did was pick off the top of a couple milkweeds that were growing alongside of the road and you know that's okay because this is a spot where they will come and mow them down anyway so if i take plants from the wild i try to get them just as they come up from the side of the road where i know the town or the county or the state will come and just mow them down anyway well this little one seems to be doing okay i put it in a jar of water to take root and then there were a couple of larger ones I took off all the big leaves. I don't know if they're going to survive or not. This one here looks like it may because it's got some new leaves on it. I pulled all the old leaves off. This one I know just looks like a twig. And this one, back up a little bit here, still has two green leaves on it. And if you look right here, right there, can I focus that? that little light green dot that will become a leaf if this survives so that is my <laughs> sorry patch of milkweeds but if i can get some going i'll feel very happy i'll probably go and try and get some milkweed pods later in the season when the seeds are ripe and put them right here in the ground i cleared a little spot here there's my pumpkin patch over there, and there's just some wild stuff growing. But I cleared this little patch right here. See if I can get some milkweed going. Actually, my lavender is right there. So I come out here to water, so I thought this would be a good place so I can keep these watered until they grow their roots. So I'm going to put these two circles here. And I'm going to put one button on top of that flower. And I'm just going to put one button over there. 
because there's nothing in that corner like that and then I am going to glue down my milkweed pitcher put another one with the flowers somewhere down here and I have some more journaling pull the tops oops spelled the word wrong uh, where's my pen pull the tops off a few roadside plants, put them in water to root, planted them outside. I put the date August 1st. And this goes actually that way. And so I'm going to put this down here. And I'm going to put one more button over here. And get this all glued down just like that. And then I will come back tomorrow and do some more zinnias on this side. And hopefully get started on my other stuff. So, let's see. What goes down first? I think, oops, this will go down first. And hopefully I won't get distracted by something else tomorrow. But I guess it doesn't matter, right? It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, that's going to go there. Okay, now this is paper paper, scrapbook paper. It's not cardstock. Like I usually work with, but I have this giant pad of paper paper that I got at the um, flea market. I got a bunch of stuff for 50 cents each. And you can't beat that price. Alright, this is going to go here. Am I in frame? I have no idea. That's going to go there. So I got to leave room for that. Probably put that about there. My hands are all sticky. And I'm going to push that down with a towel. And it doesn't matter if it's really straight and straight. All right. While I'm up here, let me see how these buttons are going to look. I could have just stressed around these circles, I guess, but. No problem. You don't have to distress everything. I did distress around the edge. And put another button. Oops. Yeah, we don't want to put it upside down. Right there. The center of that. I used a beacon glue for these. And Stinky is knocking at the door. Okay, now down here, this might overlap this a little bit. And I want that to overlap that. And then the little button's going to go somewhere. I think if I spin this around, Oh, I want it over here. Yeah, I'm going to put it there. Okay, so this goes down next. So I went through my Edith Holden because I want to use it. And I found some things that I could have used when I was journaling about some other things. I'm like, oh, too bad about that. And why am I doing circles? Well, the background has circles. So I thought I'd use circles and buttons around. So why not add buttons? Zinnias kind of have a round shape to them. All right, so this goes down next, actually. 
Oops. Getting glue over here. Let me get a... I have no room today on this table. No room on the table. that just to touch that circle there and hopefully that just stays down with the glue stick and now I can put this over here I know this is a strange strange layout everything is a little too far down but I had to put that where that shape was oh well Oh well. And I got one more button. Yeah, that's the right way. One button right there. Fingers are getting sticky again. Oh, that's right. I used a towel on this one. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. It's fun. It's bright. It's fun. It's got buttons. It's got bows. It's got flowers. It's got journaling. And I need to pick up some of this stuff. Oops, I'm going to move the camera. Stand by. Everything is moving. Okay. All right. So, information page done. Milkweed page done. Tomorrow, I'll probably use some of these same papers on here and do my zinnias and my butterfly. And some journaling over here. Leave some of this in the background though. Maybe I'll use these papers to finish off this page. So please come back tomorrow and see how this finishes up. Thanks for coming along today. Happy nature journaling. Happy junk journaling. Bye bye. Well, <laughs> I'm not going to stay out here on the stone wall very long because this is where the snakes live.